Are you looking for peace of mind at your doorstep? Look no further. With the Blink Video Doorbell, your home's entrance is always within your control. Check out the link in the video description to learn more and get your Blink Video Doorbell on Amazon. Your home is in your hands. Strictly Come Dancing bosses have revealed the future of the program amid the ongoing abuse allegations. Professional dancer Graziano Di Prima, 31, was sacked from the BBC show following reports he hit and kicked his former partner Zara McDermott, 27, during rehearsals last year. It came just weeks after Giovanni Pernis, 33, was suspended while a BBC probe is conducted over claims of off-camera misconduct made by Amanda Abington, 50, and two other former celeb partners. Despite the series reportedly falling into crisis after multiple celebrities complained about their treatment, it's been confirmed that the show will be returning. Squashing any rumors that the show will be put on hold, The Sun reports that a new statement said, Strictly Come Dancing will be bringing the sparkle back to Saturday nights on BBC One later this year. And in advance of this year's live shows, we have an exciting opportunity to experience a taste of the magical studio experience by applying for tickets to watch our Strictly Pros in action. The beloved program will be back on our screens as usual, fronted by Tess Daly and Claudia Winkleman. Back to judge 15 brand new celebrities in the iconic ballroom will be Craig Revel Horwood, Motsi Mabuse, Shirley Ballas, and Anton Dubique. The return comes as BBC bosses announced they would be introducing additional steps to strengthen welfare and support on the show. A statement from the corporation said, Concerns that have arisen in recent months have been fundamentally about training and rehearsals. The actions we announce today are designed to address that. The new measures include a member of the production team being present during training room rehearsals at all times, and increased support for both celebrity contestants and the professional dancers. A celebrity welfare producer and a professional dancer welfare producer will both be appointed to fulfill these added duties, and further training will also be delivered for the production team and crew. Kate Phillips, BBC's director of Unscripted, said, Whilst we know our shows have been positive experiences for the vast majority of those who have taken part, if issues are raised with us, or we're made aware of inappropriate behavior, we will always take that seriously and act. Concerns that have arisen have been fundamentally related to training and rehearsals. The decisive steps we have taken and are announced today, act to further strengthen the welfare and support in place for everyone involved with this production. Former Love Island star Zara broke her silence on the scandal on Tuesday morning, taking to Instagram to write that while much of her time on Strictly was everything I could have dreamt of inside the training room with Graziano there were particular incidents, which are incredibly distressing. I felt it was right that I post something regarding the recent media reports, Zara began. Strictly is one of the most magical shows on TV and one that I dreamt of being on since I was a little girl. When I was invited to be a contestant on the show, it really was a childhood dream come true. I fully understood the level of commitment and hard work that Strictly was going to be and I dedicated everything to it. I am a resilient person and I was fully prepared to put in whatever it took. And so much of my Strictly experience was everything I could have dreamt of. The entire production team and everyone behind the scenes as well as my fellow contestants were so amazing to work with. However, my experience inside the training room was very different. Reports have been made about my treatment on the show and there were witnesses to some events, as well as videos of particular incidents, which are incredible distressing to watch. Zara explained that she didn't report the incidents at the time as she was scared of backlash. Instead, it was junior production staff who came forward to share what they had witnessed as the investigation into pro dancer Giovanni was taking place. Addressing his departure on Instagram, Graziano wrote, I deeply regret the events that led to my departure from Strictly. My intense passion and determination to win might have affected my training regime. Respecting the BBC HR process, I understand it's best for the show that I step away. He continued, while there are aspects of this story involving external influences the